it's Mandy and I'm going to make jambalaya tonight and this is what I'm starting off with um, we got shrimp here that I'm gonna season tomato sauce chicken broth diced um, tomatoes yellow and green pepper oh I don't need this this is something that we got for um, margaritas actually <laughs> so we have some lime for margaritas yeah. Matt and I are Matt's actually home from work tonight which is a rare rare occasion for him to be home um, tonight so we're gonna have margaritas together um, so that's what that is uh, here goes an onion here goes some garlic these um, are sausages that Matt got on my mini Costco haul I'm not sure if I posted it yet if I did post it the link will be above for you guys if not it should be coming soon but these are from Costco and we sampled them and they are so so yummy so I thought perfect to put them in the jambalaya tonight and then here goes the organic jasmine rice from Trader Joe's and these are the two main seasonings that I'll be using to flavor everything. Obey seasoning and uh, Louisiana Cajun seasoning. And I'll also be doing like my garlic powder and nature and all that. But this will be the highlight of the seasonings here. And so I'll show you guys the process of me making this jambalaya. <laughs> Okay guys, so now it's time for garlic and I have seven cloves of garlic here. You guys know that I love garlic, so I do more than average when I do garlic. And I just take, instead of using like a garlic, um, what do you call those, garlic peel, garlic press, garlic press. I don't use a garlic press, I do this, I take a, yes. <laughs> I take the flat part of my knife, I put it on top, smash it, like a chef would. My husband says, he would know more about that than I do. But my dad taught me this move when I was way younger. And like that, it's done. And you have your whole entire piece of garlic instead of losing half of the garlic in the silly garlic press. It's for sucker. <laughs> so that's how time. I do it. <laughs> Ouch! You poked yourself, dude. This um, organic mango package you're looking about. about Good right. job, no. Can you show the camera that you did it? Oh, good job, Noah. Okay, guys, so I'm at the onion cutting part, and I'm going to use the mincer to get it a little smaller because um, Matt's not a big onion crunch fan, but he loves the flavor of onion, so I'm going to put them in here and get them much smaller, get them fine diced. So I'm just going to continue to cut the onion here, and then I'll put them. Garbage bowls are a lifesaver if you guys get any large bowl that you have in your kitchen and just set it on your island or counter or whatever and throw all your scraps in here as you're cooking when you're using lots of ingredients and doing lots of chopping, packaging, whatever, throw it in the bowl and yeah, and then dump it in the garbage, you know? That's how I've been using one of these for years. It's not a Rachel Ray technical garbage bowl, but it's like the concept of what she does with her, uh, with her garbage bowl. One day I might splurge and get a Rachel Ray garbage bowl. So I've already cut the green pepper. So I'm using a whole onion, a whole green pepper, a whole yellow pepper, and then this is gonna be a whole onion chopped in the chopper here. You guys have seen this plenty of times on my videos. Okay guys, so I'm shining some white on the situation. He's getting a little dark ha, ha, in the kitchen. No pun. <laughs> this is the shrimp after all of the spices and herbs are on it. Like I said, I did the Old Bay and the Louisiana Cajun. And then I just did my my, <laughs> my usual seasonings that I usually put on everything, garlic powders and things like that. So this is the shrimp ready to go. I'm just gonna set that on the side until it's ready to cook. It's gonna go in probably the last little bit. My garlic is done there, and now I'm going to start slicing up some of these. I think I'm gonna use about four of these um, roasted garlic uh, kielbasa. Kielbasa. How do you say this? Kielbasa? Kielbasa. 
there you go he said it i'm gonna use about four of these and i'm gonna cut those up now okay guys so all the prep is finally done sausages here i just used three i didn't need to use the four because the three filled up this bowl and that's plenty on top of the shrimp so now i'm gonna start getting things sauteed in the pan I forgot to tell you guys, Matt made me a delicious margarita, so I'm having a margarita with a LaCroix. So I'm feeling pretty fancy that he's home tonight and assisting me with dinner. It's nice, he's able to take care of the kids. The kids are already eating dinner, because they're not gonna eat this, because it's gonna be a little spicy. So he made them their separate dinner. Okay, so now in the bottom of this pan, I have a little more butter. And I'm gonna add my yellow peppers and my green peppers. And I'm gonna add my diced onion. It is smelling already like heaven in my house, you guys. I also add the garlic and let this saute and get married and happy together. And then I'm going to uh, add in my diced tomatoes. Game time. And it's almost game time. Who watched the Twins and the Yankees game? Okay, now I'm gonna add the garlic. Meat is still continuing to saute over here. And get a little brown, a little crisp to it. Okay, now it's time to add the diced tomatoes. Gonna add the whole can, nothing drained. That's some of the best gumbo I've ever tasted. <laughs> Matt loves quoting <laughs> movies, <laughs> animated <laughs> movies. <laughs> that was from Princess and the Frog, just in case you guys don't know. We do that a lot, this family. It'll be Kinda miss Matt being in our vlogs, don't you guys? It's a weekend, I'm home, sorry. Like, I'm, <laughs> like I'm skipping school or something. I know. Okay guys, so I'm gonna add two cups of this tomato sauce. I'm a big, huge jar. I didn't have any small jars, so I'm working with this big, huge jar. So I'm gonna add one cup. And I'll pop, I'll give you some of the sausage, baby. Two cups. So just two cups is what I'm adding. If you guys are taking measurements, that's what I'm adding. It's two cups of the tomato sauce. I'm going to do the jasmine rice. This goes in the microwave. It makes it much easier for you guys that, you know, don't have time. Pop it in the microwave for, what does it say? I think it's three minutes. I've used it before, yeah. So, microwave perfect in three minutes. So I'm gonna put, there's three bags in here. I'm gonna put two of them in there, add them to here, and see how thick it gets. Here go my two bags, and now I'm popping them in the microwave. Okay, guys, so I'm adding a cup of chicken broth. I'm ready to add my rice here. These are 10 ounce bags, you guys. I'm gonna use two of them to start. They're 10 ounce bags. I also wanted to let you know specific seasons that I used were oregano, basil, garlic powder, and then I just used like chili powder. Um, um, so those are the basic seasonings that I use on top of my Old Bay and my Cajun seasoning. So you use, I never really tell what seasonings I'm using because I want you guys to use whatever you would like to use, but those seasonings are kind of like basis for the flavor of having something Creole like jambalaya. So now I'm adding in the rice, 10 ounce bags you guys, just in case you're measuring your boxes of rice, you're not using the easy rice like I'm using. This is jasmine rice, and I absolutely love the organic jasmine rice from Trader Joe's. I'm doing this with my left hand, so I'm not really stirring it as well as I should. I just kind of want to give you guys a view of what it's looking like so far. That's with one bag of rice. I'm going to add the second bag of rice now. Going in. And I forgot to tell you guys that I used one and a half cans of... These. So I didn't use the whole two cans, I used one and a half cans. Okay guys, now it's time for me to add my smoked uh, roasted garlic um, sausage here. So now we're gonna add all that and all the love that is in the pan is gonna go right into the 
jambalaya here. Okay, guys, so. Look at that. Look at all of that. You guys, this looks absolutely amazing, and it's not even, the shrimp is not even in here yet, and it looks so amazing. Look at the colors in this, and the steam, you can see the peppers, you can see the tomato, the green pepper, the yellow pepper, you can see the little piece of garlic right there, the rice and the sausage. And so I'm gonna let this um, go. I'm going to literally saute the shrimp for like two minutes, tops, and then I'm just gonna dump it right in here. Okay, so shrimp is ready to be added to the jambalaya. So I'm gonna add the shrimp in there. I'm so excited about this October dinner that I'm making. I'm gonna, when I do um, dinners that are a little more, you know, yummy, I will do a video like this, Brad. The whole video is just about this uh, recipe so that you guys can see it more in its entirety versus a little snippet in my what's for dinner. Uh, videos so oh my goodness you guys this looks amazing oh, oh, oh. let me let you guys see a little bit better what it looks like I hope the color is good I have the flash on so you guys can see better what's going on here but I have a shrimp and everything everything's in here so now it's like it is looking fabulous you guys like I am so pleased with how it's turned out have questions for the ingredients or the measurements I tried to include everything that I had in the video but if I missed something please let me know and I will definitely get back to you guys so that you guys can make this too if you do decide to make it please let me know I'd be happy to know how it turned out for you guys I'm um, like always please hit the subscribe button if you guys are not subscribed thumbs up if you guys like this and hit the bell for notifications so you guys never miss a video yeah I'll talk to you guys in the next video thanks for watching guys